a tablet with a display so I'm looking forward to unpack the whole thing this seems to be quite big oh isn't that satisfying well, I guess it's a tablet itself let's see what we also have here here's a stand for it it's just quite useful when you can change the setting of how you place your tablets all right there's an instruction for it how you clip it in and stuff I will do that later just unboxing for now there we have the pen itself. Seems pretty light. Uh, I don't know how that feels while drawing. Mine is uh, usually heavier. Interesting. It's empty. That explains why it's so light. Then we have some glows and instructions that I clearly can't get out. Okay, I <laughs> managed to do it. All right. Here the glow. I like these, but these are usually too big for me because I have small hands. Oh, it seems to be fitting for once. Almost. It's still a little bit too big. Oh, this one. I guess it's for the pen right yeah that's probably it isn't that chic when you wear that out to a date no okay i'm sorry oh, okay i'm curious what on earth is in here probably some pen replacement things oh never mind this is just the electricity you can just adjust this nice 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 so then we have some technical stuff to plug it into the computer and we have some pen nips to replace these are quite a lot actually that's good yeah that's about it that's my tablet that i've got from artisul thank you very much i will do the rest soon hey there i'll be walking you through the tablet before any takes it for a test drive thank you to artisul for sending this out for review let's start with the tablet screen the size is all right at 15.6 inches but i do prefer larger tablets for screen tablets like 22 inches or something the resolution is 1080p, which is absolutely fine for this size of tablet. For the colors, Artisul claims 90% RGB RGB, and the best thing about the screen is that it's laminated, so there's no real parallax anymore. The buttons on the side are pretty good feeling. Um, I don't really use shortcut keys though, uh, so yeah, take it with a grain of salt what I'm saying about them. The click button on the wheel feels pretty good, and the wheel itself feels kind of cheap, but still good. The wheel has RGB as well, which is kind of unnecessary i mean it looks nice but you actually do lose one express key that i couldn't find how you could rebind that on the driver the io is usb-c which is awesome because you can reverse it but it's not thunderbolt 3 so you have to use the included cable for that there's also an on off button and a brightness rocker and you can change the brightness contrast color via the driver as well the on off switch actually lights up red and green depending on if the tablet has any signal on the back of the tablet you can find two big rubber strips so you can actually lay it flat on the table if you want to do that and generally it feels sturdy now onto the cables you have to connect this tablet to a mac or windows machine so it's not a standalone tablet uh, so the cable is USB-C right angle, which is nice. So it doesn't like stand out to the side. Uh, and this cable splits into HDMI and USB. The USB cable can then split into data USB and power USB, which is used with the uh, included power supply. The power supply is very small. It's five volts, two amps. And can this tablet actually be used without it? Yes, actually. We tried it on our uh, USB 3.1 port and it worked absolutely fine. If you only have like a USB 2 port, it may not provide enough power, so you'll have to use the power supply. One downside of this cable is that if you have bigger desk setups, it might be a little bit too short for your desktop PC. But for laptops and if your PC is close enough, this should be absolutely fine. The cables are also tied together with some nice cable ties in the box. The stand. The build quality is okay. Uh, it's simple but works great. Maybe some even more extreme settings would be handy, like an almost upright setting for use as a monitor. The pen's build quality feels a little too light for me. The back can be unscrewed and there's nothing in there. Side buttons rattle a bit. No rubberized grip. It's hard plastic, which is actually good for longevity, but doesn't feel as premium. It's comfortable to hold and has a 60 degree tilt at 8K pressure levels. Overall, it's fine. The feel when on the screen is pretty grippy, but this could change a little bit with wear and tear. There's no pen holder for storing this, only this pouch bag that's included. Uh, and extra nibs are only stored in like a little plastic bag, so you have to keep them in the pouch. Maybe it would have been nice to just put the nibs into the back of the pen, because, you know, it's empty space anyway, but oh well. What's nice about the pen is that it's battery free, so you don't have to recharge it or anything, it just works. Also, 
the 8K pressure levels feel really good. For the drivers, the website says that you have to update the tablet's firmware if the serial number starts with an I. Uh, you can find the firmware under artisol.com slash downloads. And judging from the model number that we had, uh, we had to do that. It went smoothly though. So after that, you install the drivers and well, it's a driver. It just does what you expect. Links to the tablet are in the description. Currently there's an Easter sale going on, so maybe check that out if you want to buy it. Artisul told us that shipping shouldn't be a problem and you should get it in a few days, since they have warehouses that are stocked in the EU and the US. This tab might even be useful right now for the online classes you all are taking as a whiteboard. Now for drawing. How does it feel? You'll hear that from Indy now as she tests it out. So, oh, hello, hello. I wanted to try this new tablet out and so far I haven't, so it's a fresh reaction from me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the pen feels light. Otherwise, let's dig in, I guess. I have a basic brush just to see how things feel. Being a bit abstract right now. Yeah, the pressure sensitivity is on point. Yep, it definitely does recognize a lot of different levels of pressure sensitivity, which is great. Of course, for drawing you need this. All right, the screen size is also really nice. It's not too big or too small. So if you're looking for a tablet that has a screen on it, uh, this would be an option, I think. All right, uh, so far it feels really natural. Let's paint something quick. The pen is unusual, but I mean, I'm not used to have it so light, but I guess you get used to it quite easily. Okay, I wanted to paint something, sorry. I'm getting distracted because of the new tablet. All right, uh, what do we want to blend? Maybe some lips, let's do lips. Can't go wrong with lips. All right. Yeah, the pressure sensitivity is really sensitive, which is great. I don't have to put in um, much pressure at all, which gives me a lot of control. I can go really light without using much strength. So yeah, that's good, better than my other tablet to be honest. Oh yeah, it feels really natural, I'm already getting used to it. Nothing that you need to work with for a long time to make it feel natural, so that's a plus. Yeah, maybe I should get a bigger one from, from them and invest in a bit. Tablet. Because I, I, I want a tablet that is a little bit bigger. Yeah, the pressure sensitivity is great. I love it. Makes me realize how bad my, my other tablet actually is. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. This almost looks like leaps, but we need more shades. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the blending is great. I, I want to try to blend in directly. Yeah, I have to pressure, put on way less pressure, which feels more relaxed when painting compared to my other tablet. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. It's recommended to have like a light hand movement without much pressure anyway, because otherwise drawings can get really stiff. So yeah, I should definitely maybe just keep this one. Oh well. Just I'm spoiled with the screen sizes. Okay, let me just give the leaps a little bit of reflection. We can try a hard brush. Ah, oh, the pressure sensitivity is great. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far I'm really a fan of this. I enjoy painting on it. it doesn't feel unnatural or too heavy. That the pen is light, it's not a problem either get used to it quite easily. Mm, juicy lips, very juicy. They look plastic. <laughs> How about we make them a little bit more natural? Hmm. Girl, give me no, less Botox for you. I said less Botox. I like to paint them in sh uh, fading out at the edges because usually lips blend in with skin. Um, of course, skin is usually not white, but yeah, that's the background here. So, mm. looks very nicer than, but they're still looking quite plastic because they're too plump. Too plump, too plump, too plump 
for me. Ah, I love plump lips. Okay, there we go. I am having fun way too much. I just wanted to test it quickly, but now I am drawn in. It's a good tablet. I like it. I love how more foldable tablets are rising from the dead. When I was younger, a screen tablet was not affordable for me at all. Simply because it used to be really, really expensive. But these days, you can get one if you save up a little bit. And I think it's really uh, has a lot of advantage when you can directly draw on the screen. To me, I get much faster with these tablets. Also feeling more natural and especially if you start, you don't have to get used to uh, drawing on a surface and looking in another direction. It can be really difficult at the beginning. So yeah, I wished I had this as a child. I'm happy that I have it now, but you know what I mean. Back then I had like this really tiny tablet. Okay, I'm getting carried away. I just want to review this and I'll talk about my life story. But look, it snips. It works. Great tablet. I'm happy with it. It even came with a little glove, which is really cute. I like them to keep my screen nicely and tidy. So yeah, the screen sensitivity is amazing, which is like the most import important part for me at least. Because when drawing, I don't want to use full force. You know, I'm not really strong anyway. <laughs> so I'm a weak artist. I don't have much force. So when I can just pressure really lightly like this, I can bring in some nice details. Mm, look at it. And then I can just go blend mode. Love it, I'm a fan. I like it. Good tablet. Should I do more reviews, guys? Also, shout out to my boyfriend for doing the technical part. He's kind of a little tech nerd, so I've let him talk about it. He understands way more about technical things than me. I catch him watching YouTube videos all day long about... I don't even know any sorts of technical things, so I thought he would be the best man for it. Especially now that I'm throwing a lot with health. He helps me. So I'm really grateful for that. Oh, it's fun to work with it. I really like the pressure sensitivity. I know I said this like many times before, but it's fun. I don't know. Nice. <laughs> Let's use the laser tool. Whoopsie doopsie. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try it for more for a longer time. Did you know the upper lips are usually darker than the ones underneath? That's simply because they're usually more more uh, tinted. Also, they're in the shadow area of the face. Okay. Why do I turn everything into a, a tutorial? I guess it's because I'm used to it. Where the hell is my pen? There it is. I got blind for a second. Okay, okay. Um, so much for the first impression. Let me line a little bit more. So I don't use line that much, but I want to see how it feels. Yeah, you can definitely relax your hand a lot when the pressure sensitivity is on point. I need a new tablet. Maybe I just keep this one. It's it's really good. I'm pleased. Thank you so much for sending it to me. Let's remove the face. <laughs> I want to do a dog face first, but yeah. Let me just freestyle. Just doodling a bit. I have to get used to it because the pen I usually work with, a uh, tablet, pressure sensitivity is not so good. So I have to stop hammering my hand against the display like a maniac. I can go soft. A little bit of anime almost. I will give him my hairstyle. I've just recently cut my bangs. I dis and I discovered that you can, with enough hairs hairspray, make them into a heart shape. <laughs> oh, so cute. Okay. 
it will become an elf like everything else I do. So yeah, I enjoy it a lot. As you can see, I'm still drawing with it. You should get another eye, but I'm gonna screw it up. Maybe not. Let's see. She has like these cute little eyebrows that some people have. I love them. All right, uh, quick doodle. Oops. So yeah, and here we have some buttons on the right where you can zoom in and zoom out, which is really useful. Otherwise, I don't use shortcuts so much on the tablet, but I definitely quite use the one for zooming in because it's really handy. <laughs> yes, a huge lip on your face. Okay. Um, nice! So overall I'm pleased with the product. It feels really natural to paint on it, draw on it, and can only recommend it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, review. Thank you again Artisol for sending me this product and letting me review it. Bye bye!